Ellie, you ready to give him an update? You ready to give him an update? You're so excited. You're so ready to give him an update, huh? Yeah. All right, you guys ready to give him an update? I've got some bones right here. Let's sit down on the couch and I thought I would film a little pup date from here. I think I'm gonna bring you guys just a little bit closer though. There's Oliver, Maxwell, Ella, come here. Come here, Ella. Ella, come around. <laughs> she's like on the side of the couch. She, she's gotta realize that she can come all the way around. Come on, Ella. There you go. Okay, everybody sit, sit. Good boys and girls. As you guys can see, all the aggression issues are gone and they're a pack finally. Like I couldn't be happier that they are actually getting along. Um, it took a really long time to get to this point. When we first got her, they were not having it. Like they were growling. Um, they seemed very territorial. Like they wouldn't eat next to each other. They didn't want to be in the same room as each other. They didn't even want to look at each other now they are just like a full pack like it basically how we did it was we had ella in a crate and we rewarded maxwell and oliver every time they saw her and then we rewarded them every single time that they like went up and sipped her and they didn't bark or growl and then finally we let ella out and they all just got along like we had not had like not even one incident like not even one moment where I was like scared for their safety. I'm fully relaxed now. They have full reign at the house. The only thing that's not giving them really full reign is Miss Ella right here. Um, she's like a great puppy and she understands that she's supposed to go to the bathroom outside. Sometimes she just doesn't do it. Like sometimes she'll, she likes the home theater for some reason. Like she loves to come in here. I think it's because it's dark and she thinks that she's not going to get caught. And then every time I turn on the light, I see poop. And I'm like, so now you're pooping downstairs in the carpeted area. This is not going to go well. So I have to order a baby gate for that. But like overall, it's going so much better. And like they even go outside all together. Ella will go outside and go potty without even a leash on, which is really, really nice. Because at first she was only going out there with the leash. She wouldn't even walk. She was so like scared. And now she's gotten so comfortable that she just walks around without a leash and she's walking around the full house. Like that, it, it, that's a big milestone. And that's a huge update that I wanted to give you guys that they are all getting along now. Like if anybody out there ever gets a puppy and your older dogs like are seeming possessive or just like not about the new puppy, just give it some time. Like, I swear, dogs are very territorial, and I feel like they literally have a little pack. Um, and it just took them allowing Ella into their pack. And now that she's, like, fully indoctrinated in, they're actually kind of protective of her. Because, like, outside, the neighbors have dogs in their yard. And their yard is, like, literally, it shares a fence line with us. And so... When those dogs go out on that side of the yard and they're out there with her, they start barking at those dogs. Like, they're, like, protecting her, which is really, really cute. Um, I'm just glad that everybody's getting along because for a second there, I was a little nervous. I was like, it wasn't this bad when I got Oliver. Like, Maxwell got, like, very used to Oliver very quickly, but I think it was because Oliver was, like, so tiny that he knew he was harmless whereas Ella is four months old so she's a little bit bigger and she seems more like a dog to them and I think because of that it just took I think it was like it's been about five days now six days now probably since since we got her and it took all five days for us to get to this point and it was kind of scary because matt flew back for work so i've been at home for the past two days alone and that was kind of our fight or flight moment i just kind of like at that moment was like you know ella's gonna have to be out of the crate and they're not gonna be able to growl at her and bark at them or bark at her and like I'm gonna need to be able to like take a shower use the restroom and not be like hyper focused on them and I 
let that like guard down and ever since it's it's been smooth like not that I think that you should do that fast like it we took days beforehand but like when it got to be just me in the house I was like you know what like this is just they just got to be integrated and by the time my, Matt was back like two days later he came back to a house with all of them being a full pack and yeah I'm really really happy about it Ella sleeps in a crate at night, which is so nice, and she doesn't bark at all. She lets me sleep throughout the entire night, which is amazing because I like my sleep. She really likes her sleep, though, too. Like, she kind of naps throughout the day, and then she has, like, random bursts of energy where she will just, like, dart throughout the entire house. It's so funny. Um, but, like, overall, she's been a really, really good puppy, other than the the house training accidents and I feel like that happens with any puppy particularly when you're bringing it into a new location they just kind of have to learn like you're not allowed to go to the bathroom in here um and I think she'll learn it it's just gonna take her a couple more weeks probably but anyways I didn't want to leave you guys on my last video about Ella being like, you know, Maxwell and Oliver don't really like her because it's just not the case. Like they all are getting along just fine now. It just wasn't that way to begin with. And even without the bones, like I swear, if I took these bones away, they would all sit here and be just fine. It would be kind of hard to get them to sit still because at that point, Oliver would probably be running around because that's just kind of his personality and then Max will be following and then Ella would follow that so it would just be rambunctious but like they would all be calm and they wouldn't be attacking each other which I couldn't ask for anything more because I swear I was scared at first I was like ugh, I'd never seen like the hairs on the back of Maxwell's neck stand up but that's like what he would do when he was sniffing her like he was not happy and he would not calm down and so I'm glad that he's like so much calmer and I'm glad that we didn't have to have like any type of training intervention because I was scared about that too I was afraid that I was gonna have to hire like a dog trainer and that that was gonna be really expensive so I'm glad that I did it all by myself anyways I guess I'll end off this video here if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below have you ever had like problems with bringing a new puppy in to your older puppies or, or your older dogs um was there like any type of conflict was there an adjustment period how long did that take you guys because i don't think a week is that bad like i really really don't um not for as bad as it was and for how good it is now so um i guess i'm gonna end off this video here and i'll probably end you guys off with just a couple of clips of the pups playing and just some cuteness <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching bye Oh my god, and happy Vlogmas Day 14. It's it's actually Vlogmas Day 14. Like, I'm filming, um, like, live now. Like, I'm filming every single day because I don't have a backlog of videos right now, which is a little bit stressful, but we're making it through. We're making it through. Right, Ella? We're gonna make it through all of Vlogmas. <laughs> Bye, guys. Ella loves these little rawhide bones. So does Oliver. And so does Maxwell. He doesn't have his right now. I don't know where he put his. He may have finished his already. Did you finish yours already, buddy? You probably did. Okay, let's play. Sit. She's so fast. You're so sweet. I said you were sweet and then you got up on the chair trying to get this last bit of chicken on a plate. Mm-hmm, sweet my ass.
You guys, let's get a thumbnail. Hey, hey, look. Oliver. Ella, did you unwrap a gift underneath the tree? Did you do this? Did you? Daisy and Ella did not get along. That's the one thing we're still working on.